what's going on? Welcome back to Heavy Metal Models. Now, if you don't know the name Hong Ki or the name Century Dragon, don't feel so bad. Hong Ki was China's first luxury car maker. The name means red flag. Century Dragon is also a Chinese company, but they make really high-end, really fine scale models. Well, the good news is that Century Dragon has sent along a model of a Hong Ki limousine. It's the CA72, one of the most honored and respected cars in the history of China. Makes for a really great model car. I think you're going to like it. Check it out. CA72 had an unprecedented 37 year run as the nation's top luxury car and by the time it was finally retired in 1992 the Changchung built sedan had become an honored revered machine that turned heads as it passed it still does and that makes Century Dragon's awesomely scaled replica of the car an unforgettable sight in 118 it's a giant model car, heavy, solid, and painted up beautifully in a high gloss black. And the chrome pieces that ride on the monstrous casting are among the finest I've seen on a model, bar none. There's a lot of them too. In addition to the huge bumpers and the car's big smiling grille, all of the window trim, badging, handles, mirrors, and body accents are done in the stuff. Even the lock cylinders on the door and trunk lid are separately cast and plated installation. All four doors open, as do the hood and trunk, and the car's got steerable wheels and a spring-loaded suspension. A pair of flagstaffs are included in the box, and these get inserted into holes in the front bumper. Under the hood, the Chrysler V8, painted in an attractive silver blue with yellow valve covers and air cleaner, is fully wired and plumbed. And there's a brake cylinder, soft vinyl wire looms, a heater motor, and even a wired-in ignition coil under here. The doors open on neat little slide hinges to reveal an opulent interior done in faux wood grain, dove gray, and bright red carpet. The seats look comfy and almost big enough to sit in, and the carpeted footrests and tassels hanging in the back to make exiting the car easier join a confoundingly pristine and believable wood-look dashboard with clear-faced gauges. Yes, those are three pedals under the dash. The car was shifted via a three on the tree. There's more red carpet in the capacious trunk and a removable spare that's been replicated to its stud holes. The car's plastic chassis is cleanly cast and accented with a separate painted exhaust that's complete to its clamps, hangers, and resonators. It's a giant of a model, it's true, but what really put me over the top with this one was the small stuff, like the neat red flag badge on the car's fenders done in processed photo etched metal with painted centers, the immaculately plated and placed side trim, and the multi-piece taillights and lensing up front. For collectors who like their cars from the four corners of the planet, this impressive model is sure to please. Isn't it? It's like a big living room on wheels. Now, that's the kind of model that when somebody comes into the collection, they go, what the heck is that thing? Just the story behind it. Really kind of a neat thing. It's a giant model car. Looks great up on the shelf next to you American or European luxury cars. And for a guy like me who likes that occasionally offbeat piece, something a little bit different, it's just the right fit. Really a beautiful, beautiful car. I give it four Henrys. Really something else right from the box to putting it up on the shelf. Everything about it. Hey, if there's a model you want to see here on Heavy Metal Models, contact me, joe at heavymetalmodels.com, or you can reach right out on the Facebook page or here on the YouTube channel. If I've got the model, it's going on the show. If I don't have the model, I'll do everything I can to borrow a sample so I can show you what you want to see. I do appreciate you coming down. Please tell your friends, come on back. We'll see you next time. Take care.